Toastmasters Club was founded in 1924, and for many years it had a reputation as a place that businessmen uh, attended and learned how to enhance their careers and, and possibly make more money by having better speaking skills. And as Charnette said, the table topics portion of our meeting, it's an opportunity to develop impromptu speaking skills, and we learn to think on our feet fast and organize our thoughts quickly. We can use the skill to express ourselves in a way that truly represents us, and we can use it to win an argument that needs to be won, and we can use the skill to formulate a kind and generous comment to someone in a moment when it's really needed. So I was wondering if uh, a member of the audience would like to respond to this mama ball. Do we have any volunteers? Become an impromptu speaker. And could, uh, how about if I call on someone, the woman with the black? She says no. OK. All right, that's, that's your first speech, just a shaking of the head. It's a beginning. Anybody else, Momo? Yes? Oh, good. All right. Hi. 
Museum of Modern Art was founded as an experimental institution to support art that did not have another home or another place for expression. It was founded on the fifth floor, I believe, of the Hechler Building, just a little weird office building in Midtown in a donated space, and a bunch of really young, enthusiastic people put art that they believed in up on the walls, and it was really a labor of love. And um, now the Museum of Modern Art, which is a very important institution to many of us here in this audience today, I'm sure, is grown and changed in a number of ways. And one of the things that I find most interesting about the Museum of Modern Art is that the bathrooms are horrible. <laughs> They're absolutely dysfunctional. There are these little, tiny, beautifully designed sinks that don't hold water. And this ball, with this lovely, beautifully, graphically designed logo in this really clear, beautiful um, sphere is really dirty and gross. <laughs> and it's really yellowed, and it's got a big seam around the edge that clearly shows that it was made in some dull factory by people who were, you know, clearly just trying to send money back home so that their kids could buy rice in the middle of the food shortage. And I think it really represents the way in which Obviously, contemporary art has been commodified, but as I'm looking at this, I also am really noticing something that's very, very interesting to me, which is that this ball just has a word um, written on its side next to some nicks and scratches, and it says, China. And as we all know, um, you know, China's become an increasing center of artistic production, and we'll see what their gift shops have, because I'm Thank you. <laughs>